Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a really hot minute since I have filmed and it actually has been, I think it's been three weeks since I've actually sat down in front of a camera and filmed. I've been so sick and I have been so busy and I know that they're just excuses, but you know what? I think I also just needed some time out as well. I had my kids home on holidays or from school and yeah, we went away as well. So I did miss, I think it might be two weeks. Yeah, I think I've missed two weeks of uploads, so sorry about that, but I'm coming back at you today with a new video, and as you can tell from the title, I'm testing out a couple of new products that I have picked up. So let's just get straight into the video. I'm going to try not to chat to make it too long a video, but um, I can't help it if I did, or I do. Okay, I'm going to prep my skin first, and I'm going to use the Hylamide Pore Control. This is really, really nice. It really helps um, hide my pores, I guess. It does what it says it's supposed to do. So it comes out in a little dropper and it's quite a runny consistency. And it's not clear, it's sort of got a white sort of look about it. So I just concentrate that where I need it. So I'm not actually using this as a primer as such. This is like part of my skin prep, I guess. Okay, so my card was full, so I just had to delete a whole heap of stuff off of it. So yeah, where was I? Um, yeah, it's been so warm. Well, last week, why am I talking about the weather? I don't know why. I feel like I just need to talk to somebody and there's nobody home, so I'm talking to you guys. Yeah, um, so uh, I guess I could just do my makeup while I'm talking to you guys. I'm just going to prime my eyelids with the Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base. This is sort of like the skin toned one. I know it's no longer available, but I'm trying to use up products. Yeah, well, anyway, I'll just put that all over my hand. Um, yeah, so it's been really hot like late last week. Um, and then it got quite cool and we got a whole lot of rain, which was so good because we so needed it. But now we've sort of been getting little showers and stuff like that and it's all of the like moisture that's been in the ground is all starting to like release from the ground, I guess, and it is starting to get really, really humid. And it really makes me not look forward to summer at all. Okay, so I've done that. I am going to quickly do my brows. Why am I talking to my stuff over here? I should be talking to you guys. I'm going to quickly do my brows and I'm going to use the Eye of Horus Dynasty Brow Define and also set them in place with my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in medium dark. I think I told you on my, one of my last videos is that I had my brows re-microbladed and they changed the shape slightly, made them a little bit more thicker than they were the last time and I am so so happy with them. And um, we made the colour a little bit more cool toned because it did go quite warm after it sort of had faded like last year when I had them done. So at the moment brows are taking me like all of five seconds to do. <laughs> bloody great. I'm really excited about the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use today. It's a new one that has just been released in Australia. Actually I kind of think it's only just been released pretty much worldwide which is unusual because normally in Australia we have to wait like three to six to twelve months before we get any new releases and sometimes we just don't even get them at all which is very disappointing and not everywhere ships to Australia either. Okay, so this is the palette we're going to be working from today. It's the Huda Beauty Desert... Huda Beauty... What? Huda Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. So this is my very first Huda palette, eyeshadow palette. Whee! Or is it idiot from the road, the V8? Is that bad? I can't tell the difference. Anyway, so look at that. That is so, so beautiful. So that comes over like where the eyeshadows are. And everybody's probably already seen this palette, but this is what it looks like. It is absolutely beautiful. So it has got 18 eyeshadows in four ready to layer textures. So 
eight mattes, six pressed pearls, three duochrome toppers, and one glitter. So this is the glitter here. And then the duochrome toppers, one is twilight, retrograde, celestial, and angelic, I think. So I have used this palette twice now. Um, I really, really liked it. So let's just zoom in and um, I'm not really sure what kind of look I'm gonna go for today. I actually might grab some tape and do something a little bit dramatic. Let's do it, hey? Okay, right, so I just threw on some tape. It took me a little bit just to get those lined up really, really evenly. And then I just lined my tight line with the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Crate Gel Pencil. So this is just in black, so I just did my tight line. I kind of like this. It does transfer to the waterline though. So if you want like a nude color on the waterline, um, then yeah, it's probably not going to work. Now, why are my brushes all the way over there? So the first color I'm gonna go into is Desert Sand, which is this one down here. So this is a matte cream color, and I'm going to pop that all over my lid to set that eye base down. These colors are a little bit, um, what's the word, powdery, but they are super duper pigmented, so I do not care. I'm going to grab another fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with Eden which is a matte peach colour here and I'm going to throw that sort of through the crease, the upper crease I guess, as my transition shade. You see how pigmented that is, it is absolutely beautiful. I do not know what I'm going to do, maybe I will do a halo eye today and pop one of those duochromes in the middle. So I'm going to bring this right the way in. Okay, what am I going to do now? I think I will go into Amber, which is the next shade along, which is sort of a warm brown. And I'm going to use that same fluffy brush and concentrate it on the outer corner. Bringing it partially in and then doing the same on the inner. Those shades are so, so pretty. Just going to go back into Eden, that matte peach colour, and just make sure that I'm connecting that top bit. So I'm just going to use a pencil brush and oh what to use, what to use. I think I'm going to go into, ooh, I'm going to do a mix because I can. I'm going to go into Royal, which is this one here, it's sort of like a, it's not coming up as dark on camera, um, it's sort of like a dark burgundy with shimmer through it. Oud, which is a dark brown, and also saffron, which is a darker red. So I'm going to sort of dip my brush into all three of those colours and really concentrate them on the outer and inner corners. Ooh, that looks so pretty. I love doing a halo eye. Just is so so pretty. Okay, that's done now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my fingers and I'm going to pick up you know, I did this the other day, it was only because my cousin said to me, layer these two colours together, it looks amazing. So I'm going to use Twilight, which is this one here, and then oop, this one over here, Renegade. So I'm going to put Twilight on first in the middle of my eye. So with these duochrome sort of shades, I'm just tapping into them rather than rubbing. And so... I don't know if you can see how amazing that is. So that's just twilight at the moment. And I'm 
just sort of tapping and blending that onto my lid. So I'm then going to dip in a different finger into Renegade, which is sort of more of a brownie purple. Like, look at that, it's just taken it next level and brought out all of those red tones, but you still got that purple peeking through. Going into my blending brush and just slightly go over those edges. Like, what? What is this even? Quickly, I'm going to align my waterline and I'm going to use the NYX, what is this? Faux Black's Oxblood Liner. So, this is, I can get the lid off, a sort of a reddish kind of colour. Sort of bring sort of onto the little lash line as well. I'm going to take the tape off. Oh, I feel like my skin is sweating under the tape. It's probably not a good thing, hey? What am I going to go in with underneath? I'm going to go in with Turkish Delight, this sort of shimmery red. Wee! That is pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that. Holy moly, that is intense. Just thought I'd do something different on that lower lash line. Ooh, a bit of fallout in my eye. Do other. Don't worry about it and creating like a harsh line because I'm gonna flip this brush and blend it out with another color. No point using just two colours out of a palette, hey? Especially in a tutorial. You want, you want to see what all these colours are going to be like, hey? So then I think I'm going to go into Musk, which is sort of a cool tone brown, brownie taupe kind of colour. And it's matte, just flipping that brush over and blending out. And I'm bringing it out to that outer corner as well, just to help blend out that harsh line. I wish my camera would beep when it decides it wants to stop recording. It stops recording around the 12 and a half minute mark. I do not know how to fix that. I could probably read my manual, but hey, where's the fun in that? So we're just going to pick up that first blending brush and I'm just going to blendy blend. And just going back into that pencil brush just to Go and just, I'm not picking any up any more colour, I'm just tapping into those corners and it just, ooh, that look is so pretty. You like that? I do. I am putting on some the Benefit Professional Matte Rescue Balm. I have been testing this out. I do think it works well. So just going to pop that on my skin and also that palette does not have hardly any fallout actually I hope that this primer works well with the foundation I'm going to wear I might pop on a little bit of slight primer spray just to give my skin a little bit of hydration because the foundation I'm wearing or going to be putting on today is a new one as well and it is a matte, matte foundation. Just going to press that in. I like the smell of this. I'm not really sure how it works as a setting spray, but I think it works really, really well as a adding more hydration to your skin before you put on foundation. Um, I don't. I'm not a fan. You have to squeeze it heaps to get anything out. I'm not a fan of that. Okay, foundation, right. Where are you? Um, right here, Fenty Beauty. So um, I decided not to do a first impressions on this because everyone else and their dog had done one and I just thought I would test it out a few different ways with different primers and different powders with, it, with powder, without powder, so that I could get a good 
idea in my head of what I thought of it. Okay, so I have got the shade 210. So that is, from memory, medium neutral. It does oxidize on me. Now, not many foundations do oxidize on me. So when I got it, I was like, hmm, that's not going to work with my skin color. But it oxidized just a touch. So the first time I wore it, I mixed in a darker foundation. That was a mistake. <laughs> but that's, you know, why we, I wanted to test things out a few different times. I love the packaging. It's really, really nice and sleek. It's a glass bottle, which I'm not really sure about whether I like because, you know, I drop things and I've got tiles in here. But it's got a pump, so that's great. So I am going to grab my sponge first. I'm going to use my Real Techniques a Miracle Complexion Sponge. It's nice and damp. And I'm going to put one pump on the back of my hand so you can see that it is quite a runny formula. And I'm going to dot this. Now a lot of people were saying, I was I did watch a lot of first impressions of this, is that it dried down really, really quickly. But I don't know, I found that since I use a little mirror, um, a sponge that I don't have any issue with it drying down too quickly or that kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. Like it dries down too fast and you don't have enough time to move it around. I guess because I'm only putting a small amount on my skin too. So I am, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm not a big fan of full cover um, on myself. And this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation, but I find that if I use a sponge and use, a, use it sparingly, I can get a nice medium coverage out of it without having to go too far. So, just going in with a second light layer. So this is just picking it up directly from the back of my hand and applying it with the sponge and just really blending it out. I love the way this looks on my skin. I think it looks like skin. You can still see my imperfections coming through. Running it down my neck. So I, as everyone else has said, I would recommend if you are going to buy this in store is to put a few shades on the back of your hand or get a sample and walk around for half an hour and see how much it oxidizes on you. Because some people have said it doesn't oxidize at all. So. Um, I think it's just, yeah, your skin. I might just add a little bit more. Because that was only one pump. Probably wasn't even a full pump either. So, just going to use the sponge. And I'm going to put it on my leg as well by the looks of that. using my viewfinder as my mirror which is probably not a good thing considering I can't really see because I don't have my glasses on all contacts in Beautiful. It just looks really, really beautiful on the skin. Um, now, people with who've got visible pores, I do recommend you use some type of pore minimizing um, primer like what I or skincare like what I used first, and let it sink into the skin and do its job, and then use a specific primer. Um, if I'm using a matte primer, I need to add some hydration to my skin because this is a very matte foundation as well. So, if it's too matte, it's just going to look horrible on the skin, even if you've got oilier, an oilier skin type. Rightio, so I'm really happy with how my skin is looking at the moment. Just going to use some NYX corrector, dark circle corrector, because mama got no sleep last night. Kids are being sick, and they've both got coughs. And any little noise they make, even if they just make in their sleep, I'm wide awake. The other mummers do that as well, while the dad just snores it up and does not hear a bloody thing. 
I'm so jealous of that. <laughs> so, so jealous. Right, just going to pop on some concealer. I've got a few different ones out, but I think I'm just going to use my Maybelline Fit Me. And I've got light and fair. So just going to go in with light first. And just put it where I need it. Um, foundation gave me good coverage anyway and light is really just to add a little bit of dimension and highlighting to my face I don't use a great deal of found, um, concealer on myself or on my clients either a bit of a minimalist when it comes to putting on product because sometimes I find that the more you put on the worse it looks and I don't know what is with clients lately especially formal girls who want like super duper full coverage when they have got beautiful skin don't hide the skin I, it really pains me when I, I mean I do what they want me to do because that's what they're paying me for but inside my head I'm, my soul is dying any other makeup artists feel like that? Okay, I'm so happy with how my skin looks. It looks even natural. It's still got a bit of a glow about it. Foundation's still a little bit sticky at the moment, but that's to be expected. It's very, very humid outside. So I am gonna set it and I'm gonna use my RCMA and no color powder. Yes, this is in a different container. It's because I bought some little sifter jars from eBay and depotted because God damn, that powder is good, but that system is crap. I'm going to zoom out a bit as well so that you're not, you're not right up in your face. To use my little Real Techniques sponge first. And attempt to see because I need more in front of me. I don't have one. So when I do this, I really come up into sort of like where my glasses would normally sit and really like to pack down that area. But I don't like bake either, so I just press in until it all disappears. I do the same around my nose with my little sponge because it gets right in there. Come back to my big sponge and just lightly setting the rest of my face. I find that this foundation does not need like a heavy duty set like say for example MAC Studio Fix Stralis Fresh and Flawless that kind of setting but if you want to do that you do you I'll do me and now that I am all one tune I'm going to bronze myself up a bit and I'm going to use my Hoola bronzer and a brush I love using a duo fiber brush for bronzer. I'm going to attempt to use the tiny, tiny little mirror that's in here. Not contouring today, just adding some transition to my face. <laughs> Give my face a bit of shape. I'm back. Do some blush and I'm using my Too Faced Papado Peach blush just to bring out sort of that rosy, goldy, um, orangey tones that are in my eyes. Oh, so in love with this eye makeup. Need to put some um, mascara on though, but I have been waiting until the end to put mascara on so that no like powder droplets go into my um, mascara. Makes it look like crap. Right. For highlighter, I'm using my Dose of Colors Mirror Me highlighter. This is the collaboration with Katie and Desi. So that's what this one looks like. It is a little bit darker, but I really love it on me. Like, what? It is just 
so beautiful and you know what I find the more I buff it in the more reflective it gets so I'll be back in 10 minutes <laughs> once I've finished a buff buff buffing I just think that this looks stunning on the skin it's almost rose gold tone which when I got it I was like is this gonna work on my skin tone oh my goodness it works on my skin tone So lazy, I cannot be bothered getting up to get another brush. Lazy life. Just need to add a little bit of that to the inner corner of my eye. Just using a pencil brush, I just wiped off the excess. So pretty. Feels like it's gonna rain again. Why, people? Why? Okay, just doing some mascara. I'm using my Ciate. London Wonderland. I'm going to take off the excess of the brush. Mascara builds up really, really nicely, but you have to be really careful with it because it can go hella clumpy really fast. Am I going with a darker look? Maybe I'll blend it out and make it look really um like a stain. Yes. Yeah, so what am I using? The Maybelline Colour Jolt in Violet Rebel. I hope this is going to work. I was just trying to pick up on those purpley tones. Oh yeah, that will. This is how I turn a like a liquid lip or whatever, or a gloss into a stain. Do one coat and I blot off pretty much all of it. Then I go in again. And do another coat. And then, I can't talk while I'm doing that. I really rub it in. Now, wipe off the excess. And I get my tissue on a fresh side. And I just very gently take off any of the excess that's there. So it's still nice and, you know, you can feel like there's still stuff on your lips. Does that make sense? I don't know. Do I, am I making any sense today? Okay, popping on some setting spray. What will I use? My Maybelline Master Fix. It's almost running out. So this is my final look, coming nice and close so you can see the eyes. I hope you enjoyed um, my get ready with me and my chit chat and all of that kind of stuff. Um, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. Don't forget to share my video so that they get out there. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>